right, this is John Cola with OKRaw.com. Today we have another exciting episode for you. I'm coming here at the 2014 Woodstock Fruit Festival. I'm having a great time here. And uh, right now I have the opportunity to catch up with Dr. Sam Milkarski. And uh, he's actually had a number of lectures here. One of the ones that I like the most that he's given is talking about feeling good now is a really a quick fix. I mean, we do a lot of things in life, you know, to feel good. And Sam literally has written a book. He's give, he gave a two-hour lecture here. I cannot interview him for two hours. But what we're going to do is we're going to get the basic eight top ways so that you could feel good now. And, of course, if you want to learn more specifics, exercises, and more, it's in the book. So, Dr. Sam, uh, let's get into the first way to feel good now because everybody wants to feel good. And in our society that we're lived in, living in now, you know what I mean? And we're just not set up to feel good. They're set up to make you think you need to buy stuff to feel good and all this stuff. That's right. That's a great point, John, and, and thanks for having me back for an interview. Affordable health care exists everywhere because most of true health care is free and you start to look at the, the factors of health. But one of the first ways to feel good now is to actually eat junk food. I'm just kidding. But you can <laughs> eat fast food. And there's a difference between fast food and junk food. Junk food, I think people know what that is. It's the stuff usually you scream into a clown's mouth to get, and it comes in a bag or a cardboard box. And uh, it's not good for you. Uh, fast food, on the other hand, is nature's fast food. It also comes packaged, but it's usually a skin or a husk or a shell or a peel. And it comes really fast. It's called produce. There are fresh fruits and vegetables especially, and obviously this, this festival highlighted that. So if you want to feel good now and thrive, you got to eat the fast foods that are alive. And those fast foods are primarily fruits and vegetables not, and other plant-based foods as well. I mean, I totally agree, Dr. Sam. I mean, literally, you guys have all heard the term, you are what you eat. And, you know, my diet consists of mostly fruits and vegetables as my mainstays. A lot of them, my vegetables anyways, I grow myself. And one of these days, I'll be growing all my own fruits too. So, Dr. Sam, what's number two? Number two uh, way to feel better is to become in touch with the, the link of air. And one of the main takeaways there is how you breathe is how you live. Again, how you breathe is how you live. So there is the ability to stay connected to what I call uh, consciousness or cosmic energy. And we have a word in the West actually that's very often under uh, rated and, and not appreciated and not ever spoken about and it's called spirita mm. and that's the same as the Easterns chi and ki and prana and it means wow. life force in the West we call it spirita so to respiration is to respire it's to reconnect with spirit which is the infinite intelligence of life force that runs through you and that's why how you breathe is how you live you can choose to cut that off by not breathing well or you can breathe correctly which is usually fully and deeply throughout your whole body and then you'll stay connected to source Wow, I mean, oxygen and breathing is very important. I don't know, I could maybe hold my breath a couple minutes. Um, but we all need oxygen and it's very important to learn how to breathe properly. You know, most people do shallow breathing. And unless you're maybe some kind of, you know, music person that plays the flute, or the clarinet or the tuba, you haven't really been taught, or actually opera singers, like they know how to breathe, let me tell you. Um, I had a breath coach actually years ago Actually, he's still around, Mike White, breathing.com, if you want to learn, you know, how he does it. But it's also in the book to get more information about any of these topics. You know, he, Dr. Sam goes into more detail about all these topics in the book. And one of the cool things I want to point out about this book, this is a very simple read. Like, after college, I barely read any books. But this one's super simple. Check it out. Nice, large type on there. Only 70 pages. This gives you exactly the information you'll need to know to start feeling good now because, you know, I think it's really sad in our society that a lot of people just don't feel good. I mean, just recently a famous comedian supposedly committed suicide. And why? Because he wasn't feeling good about what was happening, whether that's because of his diet, what's going on in his mental stuff, whether he's not getting enough air. I mean, all these factors are super important. So, Dr. Sam, what's number three? Uh, water. Mm. And water is something that's uh, the quintessential liquid. It's very abundant on this planet and abundant in our body and all physiological functions depend upon water. And one of the main sources of water comes back to, again, fresh fruits and vegetables. There's another reason to eat them. If you eat enough fresh fruits and vegetables, you get plenty of structured, clean, filtered water. Outside of that, uh, speaking of filters, one of the things to always consider is if you don't use a filter, you'll be the filter. And things will just, your bones and the rest of your tissue will, will literally filter the junk out of the water. And you're thinking, oh, good. No, not good. Because <laughs> that leads to arthritis and 
uh, myriad of health conditions and you don't want to be the filter for your water just filter it through there's there's various filtration systems on the market all claiming to be the best you're gonna have to do a little research one of the things in the book I talk about is a checklist it's it's actually bonus material about what you should consider before purchasing a filter to help guide you and knowing you're making the right choice so use a use a filter or you'll become the filter I mean I totally agree water is super critical we're like 70 percent plus water depending on where you're at and I drink water every day I think it is required especially if you're not eating enough water rich fruits and vegetables of course instead of drinking purified water I like to drink coconut water as my natural truly living you know from the plant filtered by the coconut palm and then also I drink plenty of vegetable juices and delicious smoothies like I had this morning orange juice and Malbar spinach uh, that was definitely really good and yeah, and I want to recommend all you guys, I know you guys, many of you guys already may be drinking filtered water, but what about all the other water uses in your house when you're washing your hands? You know, if you own your own house, you could get, even if you rent, you could get a, you know, whole house filter. And the simple thing you can change today is you could actually go out to your local Lowe's, big box, hardware store. They sell very inexpensive $20 shower filters so that you could start filtering your shower water so you're not breathing the chlorine, you're not getting on that skin, it's not going to dry out your hair and all this kind of stuff. Super important, Dr. Sam. So, what's the next uh, number four, Dr. Sam? Light. Light. And yeah. yes, let there be light. <laughs> and there is there is some light out today. It's a nice day here in upstate New York at the Woodstock Fruit Festival. So, you want to have light in your life. I don't think people appreciate what an important nutrient light is. And your eyes are actually a light processing organ. That's probably why the iris of the eye looks like a sun. It was kind of a clue uh, from our creator that uh, hey, you know, you're supposed to process light. So it's an, on that note, it's very important to not cover your eyes up all the time. Now, I, I think wearing sunglasses is a good idea for safety reasons. Like, you need to, to, to protect you from glare, stuff like that. But outside of that, I don't believe in wearing sunglasses all the time, especially indoors. There's no reason to do that. No, I don't think it looks cool. I think it looks <laughs> ridiculous. And I think it's important to get light, be in tune, excuse me, with the nature's master rhythm, which is up and down with the sun. The farmers know it. And, and when you get into this lifestyle, you, you start living that way too, because you're like, hey, the farmers, not only are they growing the right foods, but they're living the right lifestyle with being up and down with the sun, because that governs our, our circadian rhythms, which are really important. I, as a clinician, all the time I get asked, what do you think of hormone replacement therapy? If you want to replace your hormones, get into a nature's master rhythm and your body will probably start replacing its hormones on its own. But it's amazing to me that when it's light out, people want it dark, and then when it's dark out, they turn every light in the house on, go and sit in front of the TV or their computer screen and stay up till very late. And part of that might be their instinct to need light in their eyes, so they didn't get it all day because they sat in a dark room and they wore sunglasses all day, and now they want to have light all night long. So light by day is a feel-good way. Light at night is can and will cause strife. You don't want a lot of light. It's not a good idea to have every light in the house on at night. People eat late for that reason. They go, oh, I'm hungry. No, you're not. Shut the light off and all of a sudden hunger goes away. You're never hungry. Your body thinks it's hungry because you're tricking it because it thinks it's daylight out. So keep the lights low at night. Wow. I mean, yeah, light is so important. I love going out to my garden, working in nature and getting the sun at the same time. And, you know, I have researched actually all these topics that Dr. Sam is talking about. So on light, I would definitely say, you know, while I like fluorescent lighting because it's energy efficient, it's not the best light for us inside, in my opinion. I would definitely switch to an incandescent, even though it's not as energy efficient by any means, and they will be being phased out. So I actually, I've turned to pretty much all the lights in my house are now LED lighting, which don't have that 60 cycle flicker, much more natural light. And yeah, even that's not perfect. <laughs> the sunlight is perfect, so live outside. So Dr. Sam, what's number five? Arrest. And mm. simple as that sounds, I have a mnemonic for REST. I talk about this in the book. R-E-S-T, a reliable, easy, safe technique. Every species on the planet takes rest every day, especially when they're injured or ill. This is very important. And in America, anyway, we have a fast-paced culture, very stressed out. When people get injured or sick, they go, well, I don't have time for this. Well, guess what? Your agenda and your body's agenda are probably different. Your body's like, not only do you need to make time, you need to make extra time. So on that note, it's a really good idea to build up a functional reserve in your system by getting enough rest every night. That way when you're challenged with a stressful situation, such as a trauma or, or an illness, and I know you know this well because you had <laughs> broken some bones in the last year, um, you need extra rest. So remember rest 
To feel your best, you have to have adequate rest, a reliable, easy, safe technique, one of the best ways to heal and overcome any health challenge. Well, I totally agree. Rest is another thing that I'm really big on these days. I mean, one of the things that I do is I just go to bed when I'm tired. My body says, John, you're tired. And I go to bed and then I wake up whenever I wake up, like, you know, and I know many of you guys can't do that, but if you're setting your alarm and you have to wake up at your alarm, you're hitting the snooze button, you haven't gotten enough rest. So, you know, I would encourage you to go to bed a little bit earlier so you do get enough rest and maybe even make some lifestyle changes so that affords you more rest if that's truly important to you because all these factors are so critical. You know, it's a, like a link in a chain. If one of the links broken, you know, you may not feel your best and feel great like we want you guys to feel. So, Dr. Sam, what's the next... Uh, thing that people should be doing out there so that they could feel great today. Well, the opposite of rest is, of course, movement. So you need activity in your life, and activity could compromise, uh, compri be comprised of exercise and exercise, uh, and that's still movement, but taking energy in as opposed to moving it out. And uh, work, purposeful work, and and uh, hobbies that actually require you to move, not just like checkers and chess. That's not much movement, but things that are actually physically demanding. But movement is important. Not only is it important, it is vitally important that to feel well, you have to move well. So not just move, but move well. That means move with proper form, grace, and awareness and presence. Because I find so much that people focus on quantity over quality. Americans are obsessed with quantity. Just look around, right? 98 ounce big gulps and you know I only have one cup of coffee Dr. Sam you know it's 120 ounces well no that's like 10 cups you just have it in one big cup but so the point is people are obsessed with qu quantity excuse me and they do the same thing with exercise and all you see these challenges now John on Facebook how many burpees can you do or squats in a minute I, I'm, I'm more concerned with how many can you do correctly in a minute you have to learn to move well to be well wow yeah movement super important to me and you know my natural movement that I like to do is is gardening. Gardening, it, I get all kinds of different movements in there with our harvesting crops up high, bending over, lifting heavy bags of stuff. And I want to encourage you guys actually to get some movement that you love. I mean, if you if you hate going to the gym, oh, I got to go to the gym because Dr. Sam said I got to move, but I hate it. Find some other movement that you really like, whether that's walking, jogging, running, rollerblading, gardening. I would encourage you guys to garden because not only are you getting movement and all kinds of different exercises. Yep, you're getting the sun, you're going to grow your own food so you could eat healthier and you could just be happier. And actually there's research that shows just by breathing the compost, you know, there's bacteria in the compost that'll make you feel good. So besides the bacteria in the compost that'll make you feel good, Dr. Sam, what's another thing so that people could feel good? Sure, hygiene. Mm -hmm. And there's a saying, uh, cleanliness is next to godliness. And the thing with hygiene is that you're a product of your environment inside and out. Again, you are a product of your environment both inside and out. So you have to keep your body pure and clean and in the environment in which you live and work in should be neat and orderly and clean. So you start to kind of look around and see if there's clutter or there's just there's just excess uh, filth or things that need to be cleaned up and even that includes people you're hanging out with that's your environment and so it's really important to to always consider that you're always going to be a product of your environment and that's why people can succeed in a healthy lifestyle when they surround themselves uh, in an environment which they can succeed in. I think one of the big uh, you know factors for me with environment is the people you hang out with you know whether that's your husband your wife your girlfriend your boyfriend or your friends I mean sometimes like one of my my friends jokes is like I think one of the best things to that he that he built his health by is getting rid of his ex-girlfriend because she was such a pessimist and brought him down and the people in your life could definitely bring him down so you might want to take a look at that and of course you know, in Dr. Sam's book, he goes over all these factors and goes into more detail on how you can specifically improve, you know, your environment and your surroundings so that you can feel great. So, Dr. Sam, are we down to like the last one? Last one. All right, what is it? And this is the master link. And in every chain, there's usually a master link, and uh, it's love. Mm. And love's really important. And, and the biggest place to start with love is self-love because here's why. If you don't love yourself enough, you're not going to do the other seven things that we just talked about. So you, you learn to love yourself first, and, and those of you that are not married yet and want to get married, marry yourself first. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not married, um, but I, I have feel like I have married myself. I'm happy with who I am and can share myself uh, with, with somebody else, uh, maybe on a permanent basis if that time comes. So, 
but love is really important and I think one of the simple ways to, to get and receive love and I talk about this in the book is try to get three hugs a day mm -hmm. it's a great prescription for feeling good now if you really want to feel better instantly hug somebody just make sure you get permission first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think they've got these guys in New York City with free hugs that just go around hugging people yeah. or I think I heard if you go down to what uh, Houston Texas and see Fully rock Christina, she'll give you free hugs at her co op. <laughs> yeah, there was a hugging nun or a hugging like uh, saint, I think she's called. And she's been, traveled the world, and people that have actually received a hug from her said, There's nothing like it. I mean, this woman, when she hugs you, the energy and the feelings you feel, but you've got to imagine how many people she's hugged. Like, she does this every day, and she's been doing this for years, decades. And I think she's a hugging, like I said, nun or the hugging. Um, uh, what did I say the other time? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter. But uh, the hugging saint, the hugging saint, and and uh, I'm not saying you got to track her down. I'm sure there's plenty of people around you that'll give you a hug because trust me, they need to feel loved too. Yeah, we all need to feel loved. But once again, like Dr. Sam said, you know, I think the biggest love is self-love. If you, you know, I, I believe that if you can't love yourself, you can't love anybody else and you know I love I know there's a lot of givers out there watching this I know especially women tend to be more givers you know and, and do things for their husband their boyfriends first before they take care of themselves or their kids and you guys need to take care of yourselves first you know make yourself a priority so let you guys know that you love yourself because if you're not loving yourself you truly can't love and take care for other people all right dr. Sam any last comments or words you want to give uh, my viewers out there so that they can start feeling great today Sure. One of the things to always keep in mind is that the functioning of the human body is very, very complex, but its maintenance and care is very, very simple. And we just laid out eight w simple ways to do it, and people are like, that's it? Yeah, that's it. Most great truths are very simple, and most great coaches stress and always teach and reinforce the basics. Uh, and if you stick to those basics, you'll, you'll have better health, no doubt about it. it. That's what it takes. It's just really mastering the basics. You don't have to be perfect. You just have to do well most of the time. Right, I mean, and this is all a learning experience, you know, in my opinion, you don't need drugs and all this stuff to make you feel good now. All you need, literally, is to do the things Dr. Sam talked about. If you want more information, you can buy his book. Dr. Sam, how can somebody get a hold of your book to get, I mean, literally, this simple book, I mean, it's super easy read, and also, the cool thing is, at the end of every chapter, you actually have links for even more information, supplementary videos and articles to get you guys information, you know, so you could make the changes and start feeling good today without drugs. This is so important, but we're, you know, the system that we live in wants us to feel inadequate, that we need to buy something, but no, you just need to live healthfully and you're gonna feel great. Yeah, it's interesting because the word medicine comes from a dissonant and it means the art of healing. It had nothing to do with an artificial drugging system. You can get the book on Amazon. It's available on Amazon and some other books, uh, big book retailers online. So you might find other titles called Feel Good Now, but John has held up the book enough. We'll hold it up again. It's just got my smiling face on there. And um, the subtitle is called When It Comes to Better Health, There Really Is a Quick Fix. You can find it on Amazon. Send some other big book retailers. I would just go to Amazon. It's probably easiest. It's available in digital form. It's available in hard copy form. And if you buy the hard copy form, it also qualifies for the Kindle Match program, which means you can then just get the digital version on top of the written version for an additional like $2.99. And uh, you can't go wrong there. You'll have both versions, so you'll always have it with you. And I had a lot of great feedback. People are like, yeah, it's just like this little pocket guide to, to better health. Awesome, man. I mean, not only will you feel good by doing the things in this book, I mean, your life will be improved. And the information in here is priceless. I mean, this is what I teach on my channel, a lot of the different concepts that Dr. Sam talks about. And uh, Dr. Sam, I wanna appreciate and thank you for having, ha being on my show today Always. to share this with you guys so that you know I could help make a difference in your guys' lives by hopefully you'll do some of these things in here by the book if you're interested. I've known Dr. Sam for a long time now and he's a great guy and I definitely would approve highly of the book. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Once again, my name is John Kohler with OKRod.com. We'll see you next time. And remember, keep eating your fresh fruits and vegetables. They're always the best. All right, this is John Kohler with OKRod.com. Today I have another exciting episode for you. And where I'm at, I'm currently traveling here in Southern California. I'm gonna be attending the 2015 Natural Products Expo West and stay tuned to subscribe for my next video on the Natural Products Expo